I didn't feel like I had enough of the day and like light to be productive. Currently 5.07 a.m. Have my coffee and we're we'll about to make it to the gym. A 5.30 a.m. I'm just super, super excited right now because I'm gonna freaking make it to on the Stairmaster at 5.30. I want to see that little 5.30 when I'm on the Stairmaster. That's just been like a little goal of mine. I literally even woke up last night in the middle of the night. I'm like, I'm ready. But it was like 2 a.m. And I think it's important to make goals that make you excited to wake up every day. But I'll explain more after cardio about why I've been trying to do this. Let's just make sure I get there first. Just parked and I'm gonna walk in and be on the stairs. <sighs> Honestly, this has just like been a goal to me in my mind. Like I'm trying to do every little thing possible from last time plus more and fixing all the little things because I reached such a crazy level for me and to be able to go past that like I need to find all the things that I need to work on and to me starting my cardio earlier is so important because like mentally I was not happy and I didn't feel successful like waking up at 11 or going to bed at 2 or 3 a.m. waking up at 11 and then getting here late and then having to do super long fasted cardio and not getting home until like 2 or 2 30 not eating till 3 like my first meal so I didn't like that I didn't feel like that's what the best do and I want to do what I feel like the best do in my mind to be as successful as possible is being here at 5 30 a.m. every day getting up before the sun comes up and fucking killing it. I come and I foam roll and stretch for like 20 minutes. That's another goal of mine is to make sure I foam roll and stretch all the time because I was super tight last time. Finish foam rolling and stretching and cardio and it's freaking 7.15. It feels so good to like be up and like kill the fucking day and it's so early. I love it. It just puts me in a really, really positive mood. I didn't show all the stretching and foam rolling. I'll probably just do like a separate video on that. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you guys want that. It feels so good to set a goal and just freaking kill it and achieve it. So now it's time for me to just keep it up. Now it's time for breakfast. Breakfast? After killing it this morning, I'm gonna keep killing it the rest of the day. Another thing that I'm making sure that I work on to do better than last time is actually take my vitamins because I didn't take any last time and my coach was kind of pissed. Adult multivitamin and then omega-3. Those are the ones that she wants me taking for sure. And then I, closer to the time of my menstrual cycle like a week out and during a week out a week out and um during i'll take iron because i have been like anemic in the past and i'll take maca root then i'm also gonna take vitamin e doctor told me to take this for my boobs when you're in prep you're not getting a lot of the nutrients that you need so it's just good to like supplement and take your vitamins to make sure you're healthy and optimal <laughs>
just got back from the gym and my workout wasn't like that great. I didn't really feel that good. I still don't really feel like that good. I'm not one of those people who can just like function off of less than five hours of sleep. That's why I go to bed at 9.30 if I wanna wake up to do my cardio. I need a certain amount of sleep, but I just didn't feel good. So the workout wasn't like amazing, but I still got it done. I just wanted to talk about all the things that I want to improve on this time around and that I've been working on and that I'm gonna continue to really work on and focus on more that I could have done last time and didn't. I used to do fasted cardio way later in the day. Like I wouldn't wake up until like 11 or something or 10. And then by the time I was done, I was eating my first meal at three and it would just really bother me because I wasn't able, I didn't feel like I had enough of the day and like light to be productive. I never felt like I had enough time to get things done. Now I feel like I have more of the day and I just feel like I can be a lot more productive and it just feels good to get things done early in the day. So that's something that I've been doing that I'm super proud of myself because that's been a goal. Stretching and foam rolling, did not do that last time like at all. And that was really bad, it was super tight. So I've been working on that. Every single time I do fasted cardio, I go and I do that. And then abs and calves. Calves I haven't trained or I didn't train for like two years, honestly. <laughs> and I want to make sure I do that a lot more just because I want to make sure like every little thing counts. Like I was looking at back poses of me and I was trying to just look at every little part that I can improve on. And I was looking at my calves compared to other people on stage and like I really don't have calves because they don't train them. So going to work on that and then also doing abs more. I want to work on my core um, to make sure it like looks just like it's best on stage because I didn't hit them like that much last prep and then posing. I think my posing's okay, but I know it could use a lot of work. Like even the smallest, smallest differences and tweaks can make the biggest difference, especially like at the pro level. So I did actually hire a posing coach, which you guys will probably see in a vlog soon. He's pretty well known. Kenny Wallach. I'm going to be doing online posing with him. So hopefully that helps. I'm really excited for that. And then taking my vitamins every day, making sure my health is just optimal. And then gum. I don't know if you guys know, but I was disgusting with gum. Like it's actually kind of embarrassing. When I get in prep, I just kind of get like food anxiety a little bit and just it helps me like chewing the gum helps me with just staying a little calmer. I don't know. I would chew two pieces at a time. Like my friends all know when they give me a piece of gum, they give me two at a time. Chew it for like five minutes, spit it out. And I'd go through like one pack in an hour and I would have like two packs a day. So it sounds like I'm like a smoker. It's a bad habit. So I told my coach about it. She's like, like you need to stop. So I'm stopping that. I'm very, very, very serious about the show and I'm trying to do everything I can possible to be my absolute best. I don't want there to be any reason that I'm not gonna come in at my best. So I'm really trying hard. Every prep is different. This prep has definitely been already harder than my last prep and I know it's just the beginning and it's going to get harder but I'm excited to push through it and really really see what I'm capable of and what I'm made of and I'm excited that you guys are gonna follow me along. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you always, always for your support. Just being side with me, prepping with me, cutting with me, whatever. Just following me along this journey. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're not subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next video.